I just got back from flying and I'm having a blast with this UD220. It, as far as I know, is one of the first in the world of um, six inch capable Uber design quad. And I am super excited about it. But one of the problems with it is that it does not carry an HD camera. Um, there's just not really a good way to mount a camera on top of it. And that's not gonna work in the long run for me because I try to record a lot of content. So I am going to be figuring out a way to mount a camera on this thing tonight. So that's where this comes in. I bought this guy off of Amazon. I've seen uh, reviews about it and I've heard that it's awesome stuff. Basically you melt it down a little bit, mold it, and then set it however you want. So rather than creating a 3D printed part for this, because I don't want to go through that whole prototyping crap, I'm going to make an Instamorph based angle mount for my Chiami Yi that uses these cool little thumb screws as um, part of the mounting points. Oops, there it goes. So these are nice and big and they're going, I'm going to be able to mold my um, Instamorph around them and it's going to be sweet. So if we go back down to the basement, I have some of this stuff that's not already mounted on the quadcopter and that's going to make it possible for us to mold it without risking ruining the quad. So right there is a spare top plate and here are some extra um, standoffs and whatnot. So we can just quickly assemble this so that we have something to mold against with the plastic. Boom, we're ready. Aw oh, yeah, just like mama used to make. Okay, instructions. Heat, pour, wait, remove, mold, create. Okay, I think I can handle that. Increases the risk of burns. We get burned all the time. Keep finished creations away from extreme heat. Pretty colors. So I have no, no idea exactly how much of this stuff I need, um, but I'm going to guess that it's around a quarter cut because uh, it just looks like the right amount of t material for um, amount. I have no idea. We'll see. Um, supposedly you can add food coloring or something like this to make it a different color, but um, you know it's really just like these white pellets. So let's drop these in the thing and see what happens. Okay, we've finished our little hat, um, but unfortunately forgot about one important thing. This does not have a screw right here. This does. So it doesn't quite fit on right, um, but according to the instructions, you should be able to use a drill to make a little hole. So we're gonna go make a little hole in the impression that I've already made in it. Bang on the money. Gone ahead and wedged a battery strap in here. And now all we should have to do is have this guy mount perfectly right on there with those awesome little grippies. Put the battery strap over the top and voila. HD capable UD220. Okay, and the final thing that everybody wants to know always is, what's it weigh? Just that weighs 16.4 grams with the camera. Now you're looking at 86 grams, and with one more piece on there, 92 grams. So you're looking at 92 grams extra, 93 grams to have HD recording. And one last thing I did was add a bit of electrical tape and kind of stuccoed it so that it would add a little bit of grippiness so that it because this plastic is feels a little bit slippery um, but with the electrical tape um, with the stucco texture I think it will grip on a lot better. <laughs> 